Hi guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. I literally couldn't have done it without you. I appreciate all of you who subscribe and tune into my channel and for all the great video ideas you guys give me everything. Really, you're all a big part of this and what keeps Famous Entertainment going. I can't believe it. Anyways, I wanna connect more with you guys, so I'm doing a little Q&A to those of you who sent in questions. I asked here on the channel and on my Instagram. I may even be answering some about my relationship and share some of my past with you guys. And I'm just gonna be answering these as I go along, so bear with me. Let's get into it. What did you like best about grade school and best about high school? I was lucky because I didn't move around much when I was growing up and basically because of that I got to keep a lot of friends when I was growing up so the same friends I had when I was younger I know a lot of them today I think um, growing up in grade school, my favorite years were like grade seven and eight when I was like an emo kid and I would ride my skateboard with my few girlfriends. And those friends I'm actually still super close with. So that was definitely my favorite part about grade school. And then high school, I didn't like as much, but I, I liked school. I was one of those nerds who liked learning. So um, in high school, I learned that I liked writing and I was super active. So school in general was good. I guess I also just did the things that any normal teenager did, like partying and sneaking out. So I liked high school because I got all of that out of my system. And now when it really matters, I don't need to do that stuff. Can it get awkward standing in front of a green screen for all your vids? Um, short answer, yes. At first, I was like super awkward and cringy and sometimes like, and people definitely let me know that I was awkward and cringy or that I was monotone and now doing it, I guess, um, I guess now it's a lot easier because it's more natural and I'm doing way more of them. So now it's not, awkward being in front of the green screen. I used to work at another job and it was like an online gambling thing. So I was dealing cards in front of a camera, not a green screen, but it was live. So I kind of had the same experience where I had to like smile and, and um, just perform and always look happy. So that part was kind of, um, I've done already, but the green screen can be weird at first. So yeah can be awkward. Question three, so what's your advice on maintaining a successful YouTube channel? I honestly knew nothing about YouTube until I met my boyfriend, who you probably know is Michael, and he does before they were famous. So I didn't know anything about the system, how it works. Um, so yeah, I'm still learning as I go. I think that to have a successful channel, you have to um, be willing to learn, which I'm doing. And all I really knew before this is that I was a good writer. But from what I got so far in the past year of working on Famous Entertainment, the things that I personally found the most helpful is first of all, to listen to your audience. And um, because with you guys, I get a lot of good suggestions. And the videos that I listen to what people want to see or the content they want to see, those usually end up doing better. So that's important. Um, secondly would be to be persistent um, because running a YouTube channel, no matter what you're doing, if it's even a bit successful, there's so many ups and downs. Like one day it could be so bad and the next day it can be good. So just keep going and keep putting out content. And as long as you like doing it, then uh, yeah, be persistent. And then also not to listen to the haters because um, you get a lot of nasty comments and anytime um, a video gets a lot of views, just people will have something bad to say probably all the time. And if you let it get to you, then your channel will probably be affected. So don't listen to them. That's my advice. I love your blonde hair. Was it a long process to achieve? 
first of all, as you can see from my roots that I need to get done, I am naturally not a blonde and I have very dark hair. So yeah, and in that, in that picture, by the way, that's me as a kid with Lunette the Clown. And if any of you guys know what show that's from, you get points. So tell me in the comments if you know. I never thought I'd want to be a blonde. I had my dark hair for my whole life. And then I guess I kind of wanted to experiment one year. So I gradually went blonde with highlights. And I feel like all my idols were blondes anyways, like Paris Hilton and Gwen Stefani and Holly Madison and like all these were blonde, so it's like, why not? And then once I went blonde, I didn't wanna go back. Yeah, it took a long time, the process did take a few years, and I recommend anyone who wants to go blonde to be patient and uh, just do it gradually or else your hair will be fried and fall off. Um, and a lot of you like ruder people commented and saying that I have a wig or something. This is not a wig, but um, I'm definitely not a natural blonde, but I like being blonde and I plan to stay fake blonde for a very long time. So thank you. Do you get nervous before filming? Love your channel. Also, could you do Angelina Jolie's house tour? Love you guys. Well, love you too. And yes, I can do Angelina Jolie's house tour. I'll put that on my list. At the beginning, I was super nervous. And I think when it's um, a, a different kind of video or something I haven't done before, I always get nervous. Then once I'm doing it, I'm okay. Yeah, at the beginning, there was more pressure and I got nervous because I would never even see the video until it was actually up. So I never saw the finished, finished product. So I could look totally dumb or be um, weird on camera and then I wouldn't see it. So I got nervous about that. We can like see a clip from one of my old videos, but now I'm not, now I don't get that nervous, but yeah. At first it is. <laughs> Next question, what sort of plans and ideas do you have for 2020? And is YouTube as fun or hard as you first thought? So for 2020, for this year, I think um, I just wanna keep up with the channel because it seems like it's doing good. So keep doing the house tours and the celeb stuff and get through what you guys um, requested, like the celebrities you guys wanted to see. So keep up with those. And then um, if it works, I'd want to try more content like this. Just more personal stuff, like more Q and A's or maybe um, reaction vids or a house tour of like our place. Um, just stuff like that maybe. Um, and then just probably work on behind the scenes stuff with Michael, business stuff. That's really it. And is it as fun and hard as I first thought? It can be fun for sure. I think it's nice that like with YouTube, there's a lot of flexibility and you can, um, as long as you keep making videos, you can kind of do stuff somewhat on your own schedule. So that's fun. And um, it's always fun when a video does really well. Um, it's exciting. It can be hard like anything else, just because YouTube is really, uh, fickle and like it kind of has lots and ups and lots of ups and downs so that that would be the hard part i guess and like just keeping up with it but yeah so my last but not least question is kind of two questions because they're kind of similar so this one was where did you and your boyfriend meet and how did you and michael meet and will you ever do a house tour based on you guys me and michael actually met the old-fashioned way and it was um one of my birthdays, it was my birthday a while back, like a couple years ago. So yeah, I was just going out with my girlfriends, uh, a few of my best friends, and we had a guy friend. Um, we used to visit his place because he lived next door to one of my girls and always invite ourselves over to have some drinks. We knew him for a long time. So then on my birthday, we showed up there and then Michael was his neighbor at the time. So I met him then. And it turned out that we like grew up in the same area, which is Mississauga, Ontario, like a suburb by Toronto. And he actually knew my best friend's boyfriend and that guy friend from before. So we had like mutual friends and then that's how we met. I dragged him and my friend out to go out with us. And then um, just like, that same weekend, Michael was like, let's go on a date and took me on a date and picked me up and did all like the nice stuff. So after that, it was pretty much history. We basically started dating 
almost right away. I couldn't get rid of him. So yeah, that's how that happened. <laughs> Um, and then will we ever do a house tour? Yeah, um, I really want to do a house tour probably soon I think Michael would be up for it too I want to show you guys my apartment because I'm always reporting on everyone else's house, so I'll just do something like that um, and then You guys can see my dog Shiro or my son Shiro Shiro Hello Oh Yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'll do that soon. Well, that's really it for today. I got a lot of congratulations and compliments as well. So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you and I love you all. I really appreciate it and getting to 100K is a huge deal for me. I would love to do this again sometime and even with more shocking questions if you guys want. But this time you guys actually have to ask me shocking stuff because these weren't that shocking. So let's make it happen and keep on telling me what content and videos you guys would like to see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!